I'm going to attempt to learn how to 3D model in less than a week. Why do I do this to myself? For those that missed it, last week I threw myself into the deep seas of game development. And even though I'm very happy with my progression, there was one thing that has been bothering me. If all the visuals and 3D models are being imported from elsewhere, is it really my game? I'm probably overthinking it, but I want to be able to model my game objects myself. I want to be able to bring to life anything I imagine. And this is why I decided I want to learn how to 3D model. And since I absolutely love liquefying my brain, I decided to learn all the basics in exactly one week. 3D modeling is definitely not something you should underestimate. It is a huge topic and learning it in one week is quite a big challenge. So I need to carefully plan my week and set clear goals and have a clear list of things that I need to learn. Which of course is the exact opposite of what I did. I went in fully blind and had exactly one goal for the whole week. Make a cool looking character for my ball game. Day one, I opened Blender and tried to do some stuff. I was pretty lost. Okay, here we are. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay, uh, how do I move around? Not left click, not right click. Middle mouse button lets me turn. Okay, trying to learn this without guidance is definitely not the way to go. So, like always, I opened Skillshare and searched for a beginner Blender course. I opened the first video that showed me how to model a character and started following the steps. Step one, draw your character from the front and the side. I'm shit at drawing. And by shit, I mean that my drawings all look like it's been drawn by a three-year-old. Well, let's give this a try anyways. First, I want my ball to be a robot, so I googled for robots and found one that looks a bit like a ball. After a few tries, I ended up with this absolute masterpiece. I present to you Bali. Bali is a spherical robot and is equipped with mini jet engines that will justify and animate the jump and dashes of my ball game. Uh, and before I hear any one of you telling me that Bali is a ripoff of Wally -E from the Pixar movie, you're absolutely right. Wrong. You're absolutely wrong. So bugger off, will ya? Let's be honest for a bit. This definitely looks like a ball with a pair of panties strapped on it. But it will probably look better in 3D, right? Spoilers, it did not. After designing my robot in 2D, it was time to model it in 3D. But I very quickly realized I was most definitely not ready to model a 3D character. And looking back at what I was doing made me cringe very hard. I mean, look at this idiot dragging vertices right on top of other vertices. Ugh, so painful! Anyways, I decided I need to take another approach and first learn how to use Blender properly. Okay, on day two, I decided to take a few steps back and start with something simpler. And like everyone that started Blender, I ended up making a magnificent donut made with the help of the undefeated Blender donut tutorial from the infamous Blender Guru. I powered through the tutorial, made my donut shape, added the pink lace, and overall tried to make my donut look as mwah, tasty as possible, adding little details left and right. But what is a donut without sprinkles? So this was the obvious next step. But first, I had to do some donut research. Oh yeah, I love doing research. Okay, sprinkles time. With these beautiful sprinkles, I learned how to use the nodes and how to add random placements for objects. And I feel like this will be very important if I want to create more detailed game assets in the future. Finally, the animation. It was time to animate my donut and render the scene. And because I love the smell of my overheating and smoking PC, I decided to make the floor be extremely reflective in this metallic, pink color. Okay, my scene is four seconds long, so obviously it shouldn't take that long. Two thousand years later. Oh 
Holy shit, why did no one tell me that this is... This takes ages. Okay, okay. It didn't take that long. It only took 23 minutes on high definition, which I guess isn't that bad. But like I stated in my game dev video that you should definitely go watch right after this video. I'm definitely not the most patient person. Mentality. Blah, blah, blah. I'm an impatient person. After powering through the donut tutorial in one single day, I decided to test my newly learned skills by 3D modeling a random object. And obviously, it had to be my beautiful axe. Surprisingly enough, I got it done fairly quickly. But it had a lot of shading issues and as soon as I wanted to add the details like the leather straps, I failed pretty miserably and decided to just leave it as it is. I learned that just because the uncolored mesh looks good doesn't mean it will look as good in the final render. After modeling my axe and being fairly happy with it, I decided it was time to give my character another go. But here again, I failed pretty badly. And instead of trying over and over, I decided to pay another visit to our glorious Blender Guru and uh, model a chair. Why a chair, I might hear you ask. Well, I don't f***ing know, ask Mr. Guru. All I can say is that just like with the donut, this taught me a lot of very valuable lessons. To not only properly model different shapes in different ways, it also taught me a lot of tricks to prevent the shading problems that I had while modeling my axe. Day 4 was different. On day 4 I felt extremely unmotivated and felt exhausted and even if I forced myself to open Blender and do something, I couldn't. I didn't have a single day off for quite a while since I just came out of an intense week of learning about game dev and jumped straight into 3D modeling afterwards. And to prevent myself from burning out, I took some time off. And that's what I did on day 4. I spent some time with family and friends, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> played a few games and enjoyed a few cozy Peaky Blinder episodes. Yeah, day four was a fine day. I feel really refreshed. I'm going to bed highly motivated for tomorrow. By order of the Peaky Blinders. On day 5, I would properly start with my character model. I modeled the character after the 2D drawing I drew, tried to improve him, make him look cool, and he ended up looking just like the absolute masterpiece that I drew. Which means that it still looked like a ball wearing panties, but this time in 3D. Which is progress, I, I guess? I don't really want my character looking like a ball that stole some girl's panties. So back to square one, I guess, designing the character. So I have two days left to change my creepy panty stealing robot into a cute likable robot ball, but I don't know any cute ball robot. Star Wars is the answer. And no, no, I'm not going crazy. I'm talking about BB-8, you know, the ball looking robot. That's exactly what I need. I'm going to make my own version of BB-8. After a day of work, this is what I came up with. This would be his head, this his eye, I added two antennas that look like ears, and finally I also added this frame where the previously mentioned mini jet engines would be attached to. When I ended up adding the model to my game, it actually looked pretty good. I just haven't figured out how to color him yet in an interesting way, so he's just gonna stay like this for now. The only thing left to do is model those mini jet engines, but that'll be for tomorrow. On this final day, I only need to model those mini jet engines, which I did very quickly, and I instantly added them to the player model in the glorious Unreal Engine. And yeah, that's basically it. Day 7 was pretty short, but this week was crazy. I went from not knowing how to even move anything in Blender to being able to quickly model any low poly model I so wish to make. The skills I learned this week will be extremely useful for my future games and a game jam I want to participate in, but shh, that's for future videos.